All right, today I got my AMS for my Cobra 3 Max. Now, the great thing about it is that I could add all the filaments in here. Don't have to worry about the hanging this long ribbon that I bought for the older one. Look at this. This is the double spool one, the large one. You got to hang it somewhere. Now, I don't have to do that no more because the beautiful thing is that I could just set them up any of these right here and it'll automatically do it automatically feed it so that's what i'm looking for i need this that's what i need it so we'll put it together and see how it works and out of the box i can figure out how to open there's a little lock here you lift you move it to the right and then you lift it all right so that's how you unlock it let me put you guys down for a bit so move it to the right and then lift and then we got plenty of room for filaments in here we got tools, all the tubes, instructions. Start taking all things apart. All right, everything's included, including the screws, the setups, and instructions, and the tubes. All right, so we're gonna put it. See how long it takes to put it together. Part of the filament is that we need to remove this piece that was in here. All right, removing this one, we're gonna add this one in here, and this is the new cutter. All right, so we're gonna put the new one in here, facing this way, and locks it in place there. That's the first part we have to do now. We're gonna have to remove the actual top part, this part right here. So let's remove this part. There it is. We we gotta unlock these right here. That's why I unlock them, take them off, and then the whole thing comes off. All right, removing it. After taking out the screws, the whole thing came out. Now it's time to put the new one in, all right? Putting it in. Now you're gonna have to face it the same way, all right? So just make sure it goes in there. Once it's, it's not gonna lock or anything. You have to screw them in and they do give you two smaller screws. They're not larger as the other ones. All right, so the little screws that we have, it's for the sides, all right? So we're gonna set those up right now into this system here. And it goes in here the dish there's uh, two screws that need to go on it so just make sure you're aware all right we're gonna start preparing the actual tubes all right there's four tubes that we need to set up um, they're in order one two three four all right so they're pretty long I like them that they give you a little longer you could shorten them out if you want but I'm gonna keep them long because I might move this around so number one is here and you do have to take these things off the blue things all right in order to put them in there All right, so don't connect the four. Uh, you have to connect the six connections, all right? Six part goes in here. Okay, we got the main setup already. We're ready to add some color. Instructions tell you to grip on here once you set them up, all right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and set these up right here. It doesn't matter what order they go into. All right, first time turning it on. You gotta make sure you program this. And to do that, we're gonna go into our settings in here, all right? We're gonna go into the actual system itself where it says filaments. You see, it now shows up four. We see one automatically. We could set up another one, but we don't have it. Extruder, retract, that's pretty much it. So we, we pretty much set it up already. All Everything's automatically. I didn't have to do anything. I just turned it on. That's pretty much it. Um, we could do filament dryer to turn it on. Start drying any kind of the filament, any old or new filament, you could always do that. Filament backup, we go always have that on. As a backup, this is what's gonna happen. Something runs out, it's gonna use another one right next to it. So if you have all black, it's fine. If you have different colors, I would suggest you not to do that. If you wanna print something in different colors, then don't do that because it's gonna continue on. This, um, right now, Ace One, it's called, and that's where we have it. We're gonna go ahead and connect it. They give you an extra spool there too. I just noticed that. So might be an optional to actually connect it down the line so right now we're not going to do that we're just going to connect it directly we have cardboard ones i'm not sure if this is going to work very well with the cardboard we're just going to have to see if it works with it so we have al ghul here and spinning wise is okay all you got to do is put it in here you guys can see let me cut it because i don't like to use a older one bend it because it looks old goes 
automatically. Beating one. All right, we just set up the dryer right now, and it's going. I can hear it. I'm gonna let it run, sit there for a while, and it's gonna dry for about three hours. It says there. All right, if you guys can see, at 25 um, Celsius, it's not bad. So it's gonna do it automatically, and it's gonna stop. So we're gonna leave it there for a couple hours, and then we could print at the same time. All right, so we're gonna slice something. We're gonna make a mask made of gold right now no color or anything just gold all right so then we're gonna do our first one it's gonna take eight hours preparation eight hours so model printing time eight hours remote print and it's gonna send it we're gonna choose gold the first one that we have we have max and right here is bed leveling all that stuff yeah we're gonna go ahead and start but before we do that i'm gonna go check in there make sure there's no obstacles on it or anything because i just set this up in there i'm a little nervous first time printing out I don't have a camera. I want to set up a camera. I should set up a camera. Let me go set up a camera if I can. All right, here's the last part, guys. Ooh, it's almost done. Looking beautiful. We got plenty of filament. We're gonna add some more in a bit. We're gonna do black, white. All right, the time's a little off, all right? So <laughs> the time's a little off. It says it was it was a hundred percent or five percent, and basically it wasn't. So let's take it off right now. Oh, it's hard. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna put some color on our mask now. <clears throat> we'll make it larger too. You want to make sure that this is gonna be white with gold. It looks good. I'm not going to worry about the inside. Let's see how long it will take to do something like this. Make it a little larger. We're going to increase it by... It's 113 right now. We're going to increase it maybe by 100... I would say 130. 130? Maybe 150. Just to be sure. Yeah. Let me see how it goes. Hold on. I want to see the other mask, see if it fits. I might make it increase the size just a little bit. All right, here's 150% that we're doing in color. So far, I didn't make a, a poopy machine yet, a poop catcher yet, but that's my next thing. But so far, it's stable. It's coming out beautiful, actually. Okay, it looks like it might have got stuck here, but it's resuming the white again. It's redoing all of them. I'm not sure what was the issue, what was the error. I just came out here and I saw it doing this. So we're resuming it. See how it goes. All right, day number two. It's looking good, but a lot of stringy. So it's still hanging on. Not that much poop, I'm surprised, you know? So still working. It's looking really good actually really good so we're almost there white's almost done and then the gold and it's downhill from there so as long as it doesn't mess up so this couldn't hang and it's gonna need glue next time next time i'm doing something i'm gonna do glue so but for now i'm just gonna hope it nothing happens so all right day three finally finished it now these things is because the support didn't work out very well. I didn't glue it. I guess I'm going to have to glue it next time. But overall, I am very impressed. It holds on really good. Even that without the support. This one line I see in here, but over, overall, I want to see the whole thing. Let's take it apart. Whoa, look at that. Came out easy, apart. So a lot of filament. All right, so let me show you the final products that I got from this system. They printed out pretty good, actually. Um, so this is the original mask, all right? And uh, no colors, all right? I didn't add any colors, all right? This mask has three colors, and it's 150. This is 100%. This is 150 higher, all right, VSC. Now, I did add colors on this one. I added only three basic colors. I colored it myself, all right? 
So I did miss a couple. Uh, I was doing a triangle color fill in, if you guys can see that. So I did miss one or two, but it actually gives it a good, um, like a realistic look kind of thing because not every animal has a perfect shade of hair. They, they mix other colors, so it's perfect. Uh, I did the eyebrows, if you guys can see that. So two sets in here, two sets in here. I matched it up pretty good. It's a beautiful mask that I printed out, everything in gold. Uh, black nose, of course, you can't go wrong. I was gonna do something pink or something, but you know, it's just a basic nose now. Now, the one thing that was impressive, it, it does have an issue with doing the top, topping it out, and that's pretty much a lot of printers. If you guys can see right here, in this part right here, it starts topping out, and you can see more of the line on the actual top right here on this part. Um, there's a couple manual changes you can make on the system to fix this, but it's 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 known for a lot of printers that, that do this, you know, from Bamboo Labs to to that system itself, to the Cobra, to to the Algu, um, to pretty much everything Creality. They all do they all can get rid of that final piece where they top off top off and then you can see you can see the lines right there, inside and outside. And it does it on both. You guys can see that. When I was printing this I was keeping an eye on it because uh, it did lo lose a couple of the supports. It lost the actual um, area where it, it drops off its extra supplies of colors on the back. Um, the, it, it was just very tedious on this one. I kept an eye on it and I kept going in there every time it changes the print colors, but it did a great recovery. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I learned my lesson. I'm gonna, if I'm gonna build something this big, and print that something this large i am going to glue it down unless like i said if they bring a frost um cover a frost um plate then i would buy that in a heartbeat because that frost plate i used it for more than three months already and i haven't had any issues with it adding any kind of glue at all so uh, my recommendation is just add glue if you're going to fill um, print something as large as this right overall it's a great system i mean I'm happy now that they added colors. Now it's the next step. Now I'm thinking about doing an Iron Man suit, um, Halo suit, Robocop. All these things are coming in mind now. Bigger and better plates I can do. Uh, better, bigger and better cosplays for Comic Cons and other features. Um, maybe diagrammas that I don't need to uh, add extra features. I could do the colors on one. So very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.